Okay, so when you're ready to start doing value, once you have your contour lines on this, then you're ready to start practicing value. So we're gonna go back to our first one where we're looking at contour lines. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at the values here and trying to match it in the same space. But before, just before I do my value, I'm going to get rid of these grid lines because I don't wanna put value over the grid lines because I'm gonna struggle to hide them. So I'm gonna erase in the area I'm in, and then I'm gonna look at this value. And it's a little bit darker right here than it is here. So I'm not just coloring it in. So I'm gonna use my shading pencil. I have a really dark value right here. So I'm gonna shade that in. And we know how to make even shaded values. And I'm gonna go slow. I'm not just filling it in like a coloring book, okay? My value gets a little bit lighter right here and there's a touch of a highlight right at that top part. So I'm gonna actually just leave that open and kind of do that medium value constantly checking back to see if I'm matching the value. It's a little bit darker up top than it is before. So I just want you guys to pick a small area and start comparing the values between what you're shading in and what you see in the photo. So this needs to get darker. So I'm gonna add a little bit more graphite to that surface. So you guys are gonna use this to practice just a couple areas. You don't have to shade this whole thing. And then you're gonna take your collage, okay? When you feel comfortable with value, take a picture on your phone go into editing, turn it into black and white, and then you're using your phone to help you determine values instead of trying to just look at the colors and do dark, medium, and light.